Hello friends, it's Monday, happy Monday. I went to the post office, I got a PR package from Summer Fridays, which is one of my favorite brands. What? I didn't know this, did they post this on Instagram already? They came out with new lippies. You guys know I love, love like the, this like beige tint one that I love. Oh my goodness, they came out with two new colors. Did they post this on their Instagram? I follow them on Instagram, I haven't seen anything. Is this new? Oh my god, yeah, they posted. Wait, why didn't I see any of this? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, their lip butter bombs are one of my favorites. I love them. I actually have all of them. Actually, no, I don't have all of them because I didn't really find the need to buy, like, the orange one. And now they came out with, like, lip color tints, which is going to be so, so good because I love, like, a light pinky, like, kind of tint to my lips whenever I put on lip products. Oh my goodness, I didn't see these online. I'm so excited. This is cherry and this is pink sugar so I think for me I probably would like cherry I don't even think you guys can tell because it's like a lip balm it's like a really nice light pink color I'll put this on the bottom uh, on the top Oh my god. And I've talked about this before, but I love their lip applicator because as you guys can tell, it curves. Do you guys see that? It curves so it fits so nicely on your lip and it's so comfortable to apply. So that is pink sugar. Honestly, on me, it just looks completely sheer, but you can't even tell. And this is cherry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like cherry. So cherry obviously is gonna be a little bit darker. I'll put this on the bottom. Oh, shoot. Cherry definitely has more color payoff, so you can't really pack it on too much, huh? Mm, you definitely can tell the difference. Pink sugar's on top, very transparent on me, and then cherry at the bottom. Cherry is definitely gonna make your lips more red. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Summer Fridays. Feel free to send me more. I love these. They are amazing. I had no idea. I went to Stater Brothers because I am craving spaghetti today. Carlos had leftover for Spanish rice and refried beans. And so he wanted, he was like craving eggs. So I already made him that. And I'm gonna make some spaghetti. I'm gonna do some heavy whipped cream with Parmesan cheese and mozzarella. So maybe like an Alfredo wannabe recipe. And I grabbed some spaghetti because we ran out of spaghetti. So, so excited. What's that Seder Brothers and you guys saw shrimp. And this is something rare, okay? My Seder Brothers used to have really good shrimp and then they took my favorite shrimp away. And now they have these black tiger shrimp. Look at how big these babies are. Do you guys see this? They're huge and they're just so thick and succulent and they're already deveined and beautiful and peeled. It just has a tail on it. And these are gonna be so good. So I did something very selfish, which I rarely ever do because I always want other people to get their hands on it. But this weekend, my family's coming to have dinner with us and we are rolling. We're doing Vietnamese like lemongrass, butter, steak and shrimp. And so I bought the whole entire thing. I bought like one, two, three, four. I bought like, I think 12 pounds of shrimp because this is so rare to come across. So I literally bought it all because I'm gonna eat a few today for my dish. And then I don't know what I'm cooking this week. I might need shrimp. Friday, Michelle's coming and we're gonna roll. We're gonna do spring rolls. And then Sunday, my family's coming. And my family has like, I think there's gonna be like six or seven people there. I just bought a bunch of shrimp. I felt so bad. So if you live in the area, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> the guy said that they're probably gonna bring it back though. So I would definitely check tomorrow. I'm pretty sure they'll have it. Yeah, the shrimp are so big. I'm gonna take a few out to eat with my spaghetti tonight. Just to give you guys an idea, this is what a large shrimp is. <laughs> Dude, so big. They're called raw black tiger shrimp. Tiger shrimp is so good. I've had them before. They are just the best shrimp I've ever had, but these are huge. Butter. I'm gonna go in with heavy whipping cream. This one. We have Parmesan on deck. I'm gonna add garlic. I'm gonna turn this to low. And I'm gonna go in with Parmesan. Red pepper flakes. Pepper. I'm gonna do a little bit of basil and salt. I'm gonna mix that up. A little bit of mozzarella. That's it. And also Parmesan. 
shit. Dinner's ready. Oh my goodness, you guys. I gave Carlos some and he said it's so good. So easy to make. Look how big the shrimp are. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so excited to eat this. Wow, delicious. We also have some leftovers for tomorrow. I got excited when I was checking out. I saw they had a Dr. Pepper diet. I've never tried diet before and I don't want to commit to a full size in case we don't love it. So I got a little bit of a diet here, a little bit of a diet and I'm really, really excited. I'm so excited because I think tomorrow, ugh, Never mind. I think tomorrow it's gonna rain. Maybe Wednesday? Uh, hopefully it doesn't, it's raining tomorrow. We are transforming our patio area, like the California room, that's what they call it here. It's like an outdoor patio area and we got complete new furniture. I'm so excited. There was this oak table that I really wanted and originally it's like in the thousands and I bought it on Facebook Marketplace for 250. So I'm really, really excited. I saved so much money and then I got chairs at Target for 50% off. I'll link the chairs and then what else? I think that's it. The patio table is getting built right now, so I'm really, really excited about that. I don't know if it's gonna be this vlog or the next vlog that I get to show you guys, but I wanna have everything set up and finished before Sunday when my mom comes. Let me try this. Diet Dr. Pepper is very, very good. Okay, I'm gonna have a bite of my pasta. Bon appetit, I wish that you guys were here with me. It is so cheesy. I could have saved some pasta sauce, but I totally forgot. I mean, the pasta water when I was boiling it, but I totally forgot, I poured it all out. Mm, mm-hmm. That is so good. Look how big this shrimp are, you guys. They're huge. Mm, very good too. I added sriracha onto my plate and it's so freaking good. I don't know if I can reach it. You guys don't know sriracha. I feel like everyone knows sriracha, right? Oh my God. I added a little bit and it complements it very well. Like it's quite good actually. Mmm. I don't know what it is, but it's really good sriracha. Delicious. This is your friendly reminder to wash your dog's water bowls because they can hold a lot of bacteria if you don't wash it every single day. I mean, just imagine drinking out of the same cup every single day for months and months. I am washing the dog's water bowls right now with some warm water. Look at these bowls. I got these bowls a few months ago, but I love how minimal the design is. It just says dog. I believe I got this at TJ Maxx. I could be wrong. It's either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Those are the two places I go the most. If you guys put your dog's water bowls on the ground, obviously it's on the ground. There are platforms that you can buy or make yourself. I don't know if you guys remember, but over Christmas, I tried to make a DIY one, but the mistake I made was I didn't put like a gloss over it. So the wood got ruined, but you can easily get like a little, kind of like a cake platform or something like that and put your water bowls on there. Or you can get an elevated dog bowl and put water bowls on there. Or you can get those water fountains with like filters inside so it filters out the water so your dog is constantly drinking clean water. Because we have four dogs, we're constantly changing out the water like every so often, like every few hours for them. Also because Riley loves drinking water. I'm just gonna wash these dog bowls, make sure they're nice and clean. I'm also so excited because Carlos and I finally invested in a water filter. I got this water filter off Amazon. I got like the highest amount possible so it really filters out all the water. So we're gonna have Mario, our handyman, poke a hole right here so this faucet will stick out and that's where we'll get water from now on. We have a filter in our fridge. For some reason, I think the water in our fridge doesn't taste as fresh. So that's why we decided to go with a water filter. Plus then we wouldn't buy water bottles anymore, which would be really nice. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these are the elevated trays that I got the boys at Target. They're actually cake trays. You're supposed to put cakes on them but I like them because the top part, the circle part, is made out of marble. So as they drink water and water gets everywhere, the marble part is not going to get messed up or grow mold or anything. So I'm trying to stay away from wood because water and wood, even if it has like a top coat over, it just makes me kind of anxious. The funny thing about this one is since it's for cakes, this rolls. It's like a lazy Susan. <laughs> 
That doesn't seem to bother the boys as much, to be honest. Whenever they drink, this doesn't move. It's only when you purposely move it. But I love the size of it because our bowls are pretty big and I love the marble. And I also love the look of it. I will link that tray down below if you guys want to buy it and put your dog's dog bowl in it. I know that it's like a very bougie option, but it works for us. I love it. It's off the floor. It's still really pretty and you know, it's useful and it works. I am working late tonight. I have to upload and do my thumbnail and all that. So I filled my Stanley. I got the Stanley off of Facebook Marketplace for $40. It's brand new, so good. The girl that sold it to me on Facebook Marketplace had like a whole collection of them. They were brand new and she was just getting rid of them. So I got this color. My beige one that I used a few days ago is still in my car. I need to wash that before that gets nasty. Today I am drinking guava. Salud. Let me try to find the packaging for you guys. It's in here somewhere. I don't have the bag. Where is I have all of my guavas in here. It's my new favorite flavor. I like it way more than Papino. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Salud is this like liquid IV brand-ish. They have different things for different of the packages. Like this is for hydration and immunity. The guava one is for energy and focus. They have a common sleep and I think that's it. But the guava is my favorite. They also have hibiscus here. It's like all the agua fresca flavors that I love. They also have horchata, but I think that's like my least favorite flavor that they have. Where is the guava? Well, regardless, on their website, they have the guava. And guava is my favorite. So if you guys have been wanting to try Salud, guava is my favorite. And then it's pepino. And then it's hibiscus. And then it's mango. And then it's pineapple. And then it's punch. But punch is for common sleep. And then it's horchata. That is the ranking. You guys have to try the guava. Also, I thought that putting the salute in here with all the water would really dilute it, but actually the guava is so, so good. I have 40 ounces of water in here and then I put the salute packaging and it still tastes so, so good. It's not like too diluted. You guys have to try the guava. It's my favorite. I saw on Amazon that the brand Simple Modern, I think they have a 50 ounce. This is 40 ounce. I don't love the price of the Stanley. If you guys are looking for a dupe, the Simple Modern, they have one that you can also fit in the car, but that one is so popular right now that it's gonna take two months in order to ship. So I'll go ahead and link it down below if you guys are interested in that one. They have a 50 ounce, but I think that might be too much water and it won't fit in my car, so I can't really travel with it but the guava is so good, oh my god. It tastes so refreshing. Good morning, friends. It stopped raining for like five seconds. It's gonna rain again in a few hours. Actually, I just checked the weather app. I wanted to show you our new furniture that I talked about yesterday. This is the table. It is so, so cool. I do have to fix the edge here. So the story with this table is, the lady that I bought it from on Facebook, she went to those like liquidation places where you like wholesale buy things and then she like resells it. So this table was originally like in the th Thousands. She bought it and then she sold it to us for $350, but then when she opened the box, she saw that it was kind of like ruined here, so she charged me $250 for it. So I got such a good price. But this is the table here. I'll actually link the original table down below in case you guys do want to buy it in your area or maybe check Facebook to see if anyone's reselling it. But this is the table. I love, love the color. But my favorite thing is that you actually can pull this out and it extends, which is so cool. And it's so cool because you can just like refold this if you don't want it and put it under or you can take it out and make it longer. I believe fully extended, it's 118 inches, which is really wide. I mean, just look at this, you guys. You can just imagine, right? Like that just made it so much bigger. And then this side as well. Let me pull this side out for you guys. I got such a good deal. Been wanting this table for so long. And when I saw that the lady, he was selling it on Facebook for literally 250 or 350 at the time. So it extends here. And then these two, you unfold and then and you put them on top. So this is how long the table is. It's gonna be so good on Sunday when my family comes, we're gonna do Korean barbecue. But Mario, our handyman, is gonna come and fix this for us right here. Cause like, as you guys can see, this is all banged up. And then there's actually a crack down here. So he's gonna have to fill it with wood filler. But that's the table, it's so, so cool. I love it so much. I don't know if you guys can even tell. Can you guys tell? Look, yep. <laughs> I thought it was gonna rain like in a few hours, but I literally came in, brushed my hair, put on a hoodie, and it started raining within like 
20 minutes. So here we go again. I think we're gonna go to Starbucks because I really want a matcha, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. Look at this cute hoodie. It says human in different skin tone shades and I love it. I got this hoodie from Wear the Peace. They're actually such amazing, amazing people. We actually know the owners. They helped us so much last year when we were starting our own clothing brand and just learning more about the business. They are so amazing. Not only are they amazing people, their business is amazing and there's a really, really, really good mission behind their company and they actually donate a portion of of their profits to different charities. So I will link where the piece down below for you guys. We have a few hoodies from them and I honestly love them. Very, very amazing people. I'm here getting gas. I only needed a little bit, but Carlos is taking this car to LA for some stuff this weekend. So I wanna make sure he has a full tank. It has started, it's raining. All right, let's head to the store. Let's see if they have some water spinach. I'm at my favorite place. Okay, so the weather's kind of weird. It'll rain and then it'll stop and the sun will come out and then it'll rain and then it'll rain during the sunlight. So I don't know what's going on. Grabbing the Starbucks and then we're gonna head to the Asian store, the mini Asian mark here in town because I wanna get water spinach. I just called them and I was like, hi, do you have water spinach in the fridge? <laughs> so I'm gonna go grab that because listen you guys, you're probably so tired of me eating this meal, but I have two pieces of tilapia left and I don't wanna waste food, I wanna eat it all. And so I'm gonna eat the tilapia. I also got quite a few comments in two vlogs back that said tilapia is bad for me and it's a man-made fish or I'm not too sure what the comments were. I did my research and I looked it up and allegedly that's a myth. So I don't know, I think like the best person to ask, I don't know, would be maybe fish people or even my doctor just to see if tilapia is bad for me, but until then we will eat the last last two tilapias that are left. I did look online and it said that tilapia being man-made was a myth or something like that. I don't wanna start an argument in the comments because I don't know. I am gonna be the first to tell you I do not know. I just know that I don't wanna waste food and so I'm gonna eat these two and then I'll do my research. A lot of people recommended for me to eat cod. Cod is good, the swai fish was good. I used to eat salmon a lot. See, like the brightness, it's just playing with my heart. I used to eat salmon a, salmon a lot, but I'm not really into it anymore. So I'm trying to figure out other fish that I can eat. I'm like on a fish kick. I really, really like fish right now. I'm just hoping that I can try more fish in the future. Hi, it's my favorite barista. He's the best. I have 900 points that I need to use. Good, how are you? I like your shirt. Uh, thank you. I have an extra cookie or cheese danish. Do you want one or both? <gasps> can I have a cheese danish? Yeah, you want a cookie also? No, you can give it to the person behind okay. me. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Can I... Yes, please. Oh my gosh, you're so nice. Thank you so you much. Time, okay? Bye. Okay. <laughs> he never lets me pay. Uh, if you guys go to the Starbucks, his name, I don't know how to say it the way that he would want us to say it. He is Vietnamese, which I love, but it's T-R, I think, O-U-N-G. But anyways, if you guys go to the Starbucks, ask for him. He's the Asian barista with the very, very, very nice full head of hair. And he's just so sweet and has like the prettiest smile. And his brother is Bao, and Bao actually works at Estenales, which is two doors down. I usually go to Joyce, who's the owner. She only works on the weekends. But if you guys go to Estenales, you can also go to Bao. Bao's really good. I've seen his work and he is so, so detailed in his work. It's amazing. I'm gonna go to the Asian Mini Mark now and grab some water spinach and then we actually have to grab a few other things at Seda Brothers. This is the Asian Mini Mart. It's literally a mini Asian market. I will post the address down below. I realize I've never shared the address with you guys. If you're looking for very like limited selections but quick things, if you wanna make Asian dishes or if you just need like a bottle of sriracha, definitely check them out. Out, small business, amazing, really, really nice people. And they have water spinach too. I think they get water spinach probably every Saturday if they're lucky. So if you wanna try water spinach and you're in the area, check them out. I found a bunch of snacks. They're from different countries. I'm so excited. I didn't film how to make the water spinach because I literally have been showing it in pretty much every like vlog recently and I don't wanna like annoy you guys. But if you wanna learn, it's in the vlog where I cook for my best friend. It's the one where like Michelle and I are on the thumbnail. It's like two vlogs back, I believe. But I just made water spinach again. I'm like on a kick, but I'm trying to finish my tilapia like I mentioned. So I love eating it with water spinach. I also was gonna follow a Weight Watchers recipe, but I decided to just kind of wing this one with the fish. 
And I have the fish going on here. We're gonna do some just dry seasoning, make it real crispy, super quick and easy. So excited. Rice, that's a little bit too much rice, I feel like, but hopefully I have leftovers. Water spinach. I made the tilapia nice and crispy. Hopefully it's not too hot. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I think I really like dry seasoning for fish and then cook fish in oil and make it real crispy. I seasoned it kind of salty so I can eat it with white rice. When I was at H Mart the other day, I noticed that it's also called Ang Choy. I think that's how you say it. So I don't know why, but this has so many names. Water spinach, morning glory, Ang Choy. In Vietnamese, we call it Rao Mung, but I know it as water spinach, but then, yeah, I was at H Mart. I was like, oh my God, is that water spinach? And it was water spinach, but they called it Ang Choy. Oh my gosh, we've been watching The Good Doctor and we finished season one already. It's oh, so okay. good. We started season two as well. We started season two last night. The Good Doctor is so good. Please go watch The Good Doctor on Hulu. Quickly becoming like my top five favorite shows. It's the same guy from Face Myself. Yeah, I love him. Mm. I have leftovers. Good amount of rice, part of the tilapia fish, which was delicious, and then the water spinach at the bottom. This will be my lunch manana. Hello, I want a late night snack. Okay, so I'm making the famous viral dessert on TikTok with a fruit roll up and the ice cream in the middle. I've seen so many people say that it's gross because I feel like they're choosing the wrong ice cream. Since this is like a fruity flavor, like obviously majority of fruit roll ups are going to be fruity flavors. I feel like it's mandatory that you use a fruity ice cream flavor, right you guys? Like I just feel like it's common. I don't know. I don't know. I just think that it would taste really bad with like cookies and cream. Like, I don't know. This is fruity and then you put cookies and cream. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me logically, geologically, but who knows? Maybe, maybe I'm the one lacking common sense. I definitely lack common sense. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I just feel like if you're gonna try this, you definitely need to do like a fruity ice cream. And this one's my favorite. If I can even open. Oh, there we go. Thank goodness. Oh, this is the, the mango one. It's so, so good. Highly recommend. And then these fruit roll-ups have the tattoo on them. No, oh, no, blue raspberry. I like blue raspberry. Let me do blue raspberry. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited. Okay, so then I have that and then I'm gonna, oh, it's hard. I have to be careful because of my composite bonding. Okay, there we go. And then you just wanna roll it and the frozen ice cream will freeze the fruit roll-up. Bon appetitis. Mmm. It's such a good treat when you're craving something sweet. Alrighty, everyone. We are in my studio. You guys have seen this room so many times. Last year, when we hung out together, we cleaned this whole room, remember? This was a mess. This is what I have going on here. I just got these Alex drawers. If you guys watch makeup tutorials or you were really big on following beauty influencers during the 2016, I mean 2015 to 2017, everyone had these Alex drawers. I remember that I had like a whole entire makeup vanity with the impressions vanity mirrors with the little bulbs. I think that makeup collection video is still up on my channel. I remember having these. I got rid of them. Well, I didn't actually get, get rid of them. I gave them to my sister, so they're actually at my mom's house. Guess what, you guys? We've made a full circle because we are back to them. I recently just got these Alex drawers at Ikea. I will link them down below for you guys. The drawers are actually amazing. You can use these for so many things. This is like the short version. They have a really tall version as well. I used to have that one and I gave it to Michelle. It's in her closet and she says she's probably going to use it for the rest of her life because it's such good material. They're probably the most popular things at Ikea just because they're just overall amazing. And then we also had them when we first moved into this house because you can also use them as your office furniture. You can put like files in there or pens, papers, whatever it may be. So I even got a tabletop. It's in my car right now. When Carlos is free, he's going to help me put the tabletop on. And now I am looking for a mirror. I used to have a mirror from impression 
Kardashian's vanity, but I gave it to my sister and I feel kind of bad asking for it back, but she really has not used it in years. So I think she might be okay with it. That's gonna save me like a thousand dollars because the impression vanity mirrors are honestly so expensive. But I'm thinking about putting it right here and then I'm gonna put my six penny chair right here. I think it'll be really cute by the window as like a little nook. Maybe we can do some filming there. And then on the right side, it looks kind of small right now just because we have so many things cluttered around. But on the right side is my filming area. This is where I film my mukbangs. I have my backdrop. I also love the blank white wall. And then right here we'll have room for like the minimal lighting that I use. And then I am going to convert this into holding extra makeup but also like work related technology and all that because this whole room is honestly work related. I'm honestly really excited to have a place where I can sit and get ready. All of my makeup that I use all the time will be on the in the cabinets and I don't know maybe I can try some short form makeup videos and be on TikTok or on Instagram overall. This is what we're working with. And then we have this beautiful chair from Value Furniture that Carlos actually loves. It just doesn't match his room. So I'm thinking about going to like Michael's or Joanne's and buying gray fabric and maybe transforming this. But for now, I think this might go over there. But this is like the most comfortable chair ever. I just got off FaceTime with my sister. I was like, hey, you know, since you don't use it a lot, do you mind if I bring it to my house? And she was totally chill with it. She said, yeah, go ahead and take the vanity back and like the mirror but then I got off the phone with her and I changed my mind I felt way too bad my sister is just really really nice and I know that even though she is telling me the truth like she really doesn't use it I know that like probably seeing it makes her really happy so I I don't want to take it away from her I already gave it to her and I thought maybe since she doesn't use it that maybe it feels right but honestly after getting off the phone with her I just I don't feel right in my heart to take it away from my sister even though it's just sitting there I'm going to I, I think the next time I go to my mom's I'm gonna actually clean up the vanity for her so when she gets back it's all nice and pretty and we can like decorate it and stuff because I did see it the other day and there's like a mess on it instead of taking it I'm going to bedazzle her room for her regardless I think I'm gonna have to go and buy an impressions vanity which is okay which is okay excited to share that journey with you guys I don't think it's gonna get here anytime soon I think shipping says it takes like seven to ten business days This is what I have so far. As you guys remember, this is my six penny chair. I originally was filming with it in the corner of our bedroom. I decided to move it to the studio just to keep it kind of like the studio vibe. So if I ever want to film anything, I have the corner. The makeup desk will go here. And I think I'm going to have to push this table back a little bit. It's moving, it's a little bit far out. So the reason that the Alex drawers are out like this is because the table top is 31 and a half inches. So that'll leave room in the back for me to nail the mirror whenever it comes. But for now, this is what it looks like. I actually do love this little corner here. It feels very private. I also can get some work done there, which is like really nice. That's what I have so far. I don't think this guy is gonna work. I'm gonna have to move him out there and then figure out how to wrap it gray so I can put it in Carlos's office because the beige is gonna like look so weird in his office. When I was at the Asian Mini Mart earlier, I saw this Sriracha ramen noodle soup. It is literally the Sriracha brand. So I am going to try this out for the first time and let you guys know. I just smelled this and it smells just like Sriracha. So we, that's the only package in there. So I'm guessing I pour this whole thing in. I love any ramen in a cup it's just so easy and then it's telling me to microwave for five minutes which i always think is a little bit long to be honest because i always do like three minutes max oh my gosh this this the smell is crazy baby i'm telling you when you do your hair it looks fine should we ask people people like it when you do your hair hello so for the last like 30 minutes to an hour that's a that's a long time but it was I've been a very trying... long time so you, I'm sure everybody goes through this, but sometimes you get this feeling that you want to change your hairstyle up a little bit, you know, whether it be like a change of color or just a different style entirely. And I think I'm kind of going through that right now, but I think it's mostly because whenever I don't style my hair, I hate that it like drops down and I don't know, sometimes I just want to go out to the store without having to wear a hat and I can just be out. You in basically want now. a hairstyle where you don't have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But I really do like my hair, and whenever I do style it, I love the way it looks and everything. So I, do I don't know. What do you get? I can't believe he wore this shirt. I'm just. <laughs> I guess 
I don't know. I mean, I'm asking for some advice. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should just keep my hair the way that it is? Not like this, even though I kind of like it. You have good hair, Bubba. But people are balding at this age. You are growing. No, hair I'm it. super. I'm super grateful that I have hair. I really am, and I'm super grateful that I have options of how to be able to do my hair. But yes. what do you guys think? I don't know. I just need some. I need some some opinions and see what people say. I love you. <laughs> I hope this is Moy Bian, baby. Why no? It's by the Sriracha brand. It smells like it. Ooh, I was not expecting you to look like that. I was not expecting that. I did four minutes. The packaging says five, but don't don't trust them. Four minutes seems to be good. Like the noodles are al dente. Oh, they're so chewy looking. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Let me try the broth first. Yeah, try the broth. It tastes just like sriracha. What else was I expecting? I don't know. Ah, veggie ramen's still better. It's kind of just straight up sriracha. I kind of wish it was saltier, like a little bit more flavor. It's spicy. It's definitely spicy. It tastes like if you took chicken broth and put like three cups of sriracha in there. I wish it was saltier, like have, it was kind of like the veggie ramen that had more flavor. Mmm, do four minutes. I'm gonna rate it out of 10. 10 being the best. It's not bad. I feel like I've had better. I'm kind of a hard critic when it comes to ramen just because you guys know, grew up on ramen. Let me have one more bite. The noodles are, noodles are very good. The noodles at four minutes are nice and chewy. They're very al dente. They're definitely cooked, but they have that nice chewiness to them. And as you can tell, they have a nice curl to them because they're not overcooked. Mm. I don't love the sriracha flavoring too much. The sriracha sauce is bomb. I can put that on anything, but in a ramen cup like this as a broth, not my favorite. So for the noodles, I would give them a 10 out of 10. I think the noodles are bomb, but overall the bowl, it's like a good four out of 10. It's really not that. It's not like you need to go to the store right now and try it. I'm not down for it, but I'm glad I tried it. Grateful for this meal. But I mean, if you really like sriracha, this might be it for you, you know? I just don't think it's that good in a cup, to be honest. I like the sauce better. All the smokes. This is the base for the punching bag that we got. So basically what you do is you fill this up with water or sand, or some people do a mixture, but I don't like that. And then so that when you punch the bag, it doesn't like, you know, go all over the place. You can also buy like a cover for this. Carlos just got a punching bag. He's very excited for it. We're gonna see if this one's good. We're gonna review it for you guys and then- It's good for cardio. I will link it down below if you guys are interested in trying it out with us. I guess this is the big base and then that thing is gonna go on top of this thing but you're supposed to fill this with water or sand so it weighs it down because you know right now it's it's hollow so you can move it easily. I found it on Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. Baby, that is the size of me. <laughs> How am I going to use this? You just punch it. <laughs> you don't have to- I'm the same height as it. You literally just punch it. You don't have to like do anything. So basically, just take it. It's not heavy at all. Mm. Like it's pretty light. And then this just basically goes there. We're gonna put water in it later, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to put water in it first because this goes over it. That's yeah, it. we'll fill it with water later. Usually they put it on the side to make it easier, but I don't know why they did that. Anyways, pull all these out. And it's like foam on the inside right here. And then you basically just... I could have made you that. There was a guy that made his own punching, remember? Yeah. <laughs> did you guys show you? Yeah, carpet and... Uh, there you go. Not bad for an at-home punching bag. So yeah, obviously you like, you pull this down and you fix it up and stuff and so it doesn't move, but this is basically like the gist of it. And then, yeah, so you just punch it. Oh, and then Carlos got gloves, it's inside. But like, you see how it moves? That's why you need the water. Mm. Or else you're gonna be punching it and it's just gonna like go everywhere. So yeah, Carlos got gloves on Amazon too. I'll link his gloves down below cause they're, they're pretty cool. Whoa, this thing looks huge. <laughs> you're small. I don't like it. Well, baby. That's funny. Well, that's what it's for, you know? You're supposed to be able to kind of- Is it the same height as you? Yeah, basically. Oh yeah, it is, look. So it actually goes down a- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it actually goes down a little bit more. It's just we need to- We just wanted to show you how it is. It's like a good six feet. Cause I'm like six- Yeah, I'm like six foot. I can't do it with Riley here. I know. He's gonna whenever, that. whenever we hit, Riley and Rocky don't really like it. Riley gets freaked out and then Rocky gets freaked out too. Bite my ass. 
it's gonna hurt. Okay, okay, we'll do it later. Whenever we have it filled, we'll show you guys how you can actually like put some power behind your punches and it should be good. Baby. Baby, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. We are doing some work in the garage and we had their little dog thing here and they wanted to sit inside it. So we opened it up. <laughs> was it Tabasco that we watched a documentary on and it took like six weeks to make? No, it took three years. Or was it that deal? Uh, Tabasco. Yeah. <gasps> that looks bomb. We got Denny's for dinner because Carlos and I were craving breakfast. Can I just have like the smallest amount of your Blueberry pancake, babe. Yeah. And I always, at Denny's, you guys, I always get a T-bone steak. I don't care if it's seven in the morning. <laughs> and then I got scrambled eggs. They make the best hash browns at Denny's, in my opinion. And then I got white toast. And Carlos got egg, sausage, and hash brown, and then a blueberry pancake. And I like to eat my steak with Tabasco. And then Appa, Michelle's dad, got us this log cabin syrup six months ago, and we're done, pretty much, today. So good. <laughs> Love their T-bone, babe. I know. Mmm. Gracias. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking poppy. Is that cherry limeade, baby? Yeah. I like cherry limeade the best. Last time I was at Michelle's, she had extra and she had strawberry thing, and I didn't like it anymore. It's really good. <gasps> Take a blueberry. Shut up. Oh my god, these blueberry pancakes are bomb. You guys, blueberry pancakes. What? Oh my god, I almost put Tabasco on my pancake. Can I have the syrup, babe? Yeah. I would have started crying. How is it? Mm. You want more? Mm -mm. Are you sure? I'm okay. Thank you, babe. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck. Baby, Ikea is like known for being fake wood, right? Yes. Or also they, be extremely expensive. They do a good job at it. Don't you think? Yeah, they have shit stuff. Wow, my husband's so strong. Thanks, babe. I think this is a, a good desk to have in the future for anybody, you know? Do you care? Yes. You do? Yes. Is your favorite thing about me? I even know how to cook. Wow, something new. Just kidding. You don't like my thighs anymore? I do like your thighs. So like that you take care of me when I'm sick. Just don't get sick because I don't like doing that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's my new chill area. I like it. It's cool. Thanks, Boba. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your help. I'll send you the tip on the app. Nice. I only tip 1%. Nice. Yeah. Then I'm taking the chair back and the tables. What chair? Uh, I want that chair now because you wasted my time. So you No, I did on my own. You wasted my time. So I'm taking that check. Five percent tip. Oh well. How much? How much was it to help me move this to uh, here and then do this? Sixty. Uh, Sixty to move this from the bedroom here. See, hold on, I'm not done. Sixty, and then this. Uh, I had to bring your car into the garage. Then I had to get it out of your car. Then I had to lift it. So that's a good like hundred bucks. So all together, one sixty. But I'll be nice. I'll take off. What about the wife discount? Uh. Okay. Fine. Ninety dollars. Ten dollars off? No, it was one sixty. It's ninety. Wait, I thought you said it was a hundred. No, I said a hundred for this and then sixty for that. A hundred just to move this. And then sixty for that. So one sixty and then the discount. It's ninety bucks. So that's. I'm mean, charging you a hundred dollars a meal. I'm taking. From now on, when I cook for you, it's a hundred dollars a meal. I don't care if it's a cup of water. It's hundred dollars. <laughs> What's your least favorite thing about me? I expect that you don't keep your car clean. Fuck okay, it, so let's go. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Do not let the minions in, Bubba. And you let the minions in. He's like, come on, man. Oh my god, baby, look. It fits perfectly. I'm so excited. I'm going to share the fruit roll-up recipe with Michelle where you wrap sorbet in fruit roll-up. I feel like if you guys try this at home, definitely get like a fruit sorbet. Don't try this, which is sweet with like cookies and cream. Like ice a cream. cream. Not even like a mango cream. Yeah, like you have to try it with like a fruity ice cream for it to taste like better. Like tarty. Yeah, don't try this with like chocolate ice cream. A literal sorbet ice cream. Yeah, it's not gonna be good. Kim is also mad because I chose a random ass mango sorbet. Michelle really wanted to save $3, which I appreciate, but Michelle, that sorbet was so good. Ma'am! She's like, I'm not doing anything. She's literally like, I'm not doing anything, 
freezing long. Oh my god, she's so cold. How much do you get? That's mom? way too much, mom. Half oh. of that for me, half for oh, you. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, ready? You ready? And then you put it in the middle. Right here? Yes, and then you oh just My god, wrap. it's like a dumpling. And then when you wrap the fruit roll up, the ice cream freezes the fruit roll up and ah. it becomes hard. And then you just bite down. This concept is... Okay, ready? It's so interesting to me. And then look. Oh wow, and it's then like what, immediate. What some people do is they put it in the freezer. Do you have to? No, because it hardens up, so I'm like, that's too hard for me. Oh my gosh, can you eat this with your composite bonding? I can, because it's not too hard. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? I'll eat on the side to be safe. Cheers, mom. I can't wait any longer because my thing is sticky. Oh, 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 cheers. Ah. Shush. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Okay. A sweet treat. The lady that shared this online, that like came up with this, she said whenever she's craving something sweet, she mm. just makes one of these. Wow, that is really freaking good. That's addicting. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I finished the whole freaking box. Mm-hmm. Put it in your mouth, Maiden. The whole thing. How good is that? Mm -hmm. It's good, right? What is it? It's fruit roll up. Wait, <laughs> Mm. It's good. What do you think? Good. Right? Yeah. Mom, it's good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing. Thanks, TikTok. Thanks, TikTok. Kim got baked hot Cheetos. I first had this in high school when Michelle Obama took out all the chips. <laughs> never forget. <laughs> took away the zebra cake. Oh, we never had those. Oh. But yeah, we got replaced with these, but I love them. Do they replace hot Cheetos? No, but I do like them. Like they have a distinctive taste to they themselves. Smell like tomatoes. Okay, this is Kim's first time trying. Ready? Mm hmm. What's wrong with them? They taste like tomatoes to me. What? They taste like tomatoes. What? Is it because I had the fruit roll up maybe? Or did that? I don't know, I don't know. They taste like tomatoes. Will we try them? What? Damn, I don't experience that Cheeto kick. Huh. I'm sad. I'm Wait, so now, sad. Now what if I eat it and now I think it tastes like a tomato? No, it, maybe. I'm really sad. I want to like them. Why does it taste like I'm eating just tomato red light, like red dye? <laughs> it kind of tastes like a tomato. Okay. I feel like the fruit roll up kind of mm. effed it up. Because this isn't really what I taste. Dang it. Yeah. Well, I tried. Okay, back to the OG. 11-11, make a wish. We are watching the MH370 airplane disappearing. I already watched it, but Michelle's gonna watch it. And then we ordered some sticky rice, and we, we ordered from this place. It, it's a Thai place, and they make bomb papaya salad. If you guys are in Orange County and you're looking for a place that makes pretty good, close to authentic papaya salad, from what I think, it's really, really good. And then we got some Tom Yum soup, which is my favorite, favorite thing ever. But you guys, this is actually my first time eating sticky rice. Oh, Mom? Yeah. I've never had sticky rice either. It's sticky rice. Or is Korean rice considered sticky rice too, no? Look, I don't know. It's just plain sticky rice, but you eat it with the papaya salad. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's real sticky. Okay. Never Yum. This is the papaya salad. The seas or the sauce is so good. This is papaya salad with crab. This is the tom yum soup. Sticky rice. What do you think about the show? It's a good show. It's interesting, right? Uh -huh. The fact that they like haven't been able to solve it. It's just it. so it's frustrating, weird. though. Yeah. Sticky rice. I don't know if you guys know, but I love papaya salad. Mmm. Mm. That is the scenario that is necessary. Mm hmm. If so, it's worth pointing out that there's been a handful of pilots. I'll link this place down below. Yeah, wow. Wait, it's really good. It's open till 4 a.m. 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll link it down below for you guys. I started to wonder maybe it wasn't sorry. Wow, I've never really had sticky rice. Is this also the same sticky rice that people eat with mango? I but think But it's like, mango is obviously sweeter. Probably. Uh-huh. And I think, oh my god. Mmm. And now, it's been a 